at ECU we did some research uh, articulating the rationale for diversity which looked at the motivation and also the importance of leaders who who take ownership of the agenda as part of their their leadership mission and style um, and uh, what we found is that, that for those leaders who do take such an approach much more happens in the institution um, some of them do it in a way by talking personally about why it's important and even that is useful because that as I say sets a tone within which the rest of the organization um, seeks to um, engage and uh, um, uh, the prism if you like through which it delivers its work. Um, for other leaders they tend to take a more explicit approach by setting express objectives or targets for themselves and for their institutions and indeed maybe then for the re uh, respective departments and uh, other parts of the institution as well. Um, either way, um, owning the agenda by leaders is, is important. Um, you asked the great question about um, how those undertaking this work can engage senior leaders. Uh, I think there are a number of ways. First of all, I don't. I think it's no longer, um, in many respects, uh, gender equity is no longer considered just a luxury or a or an um, optional add-on to the work of a leader. There are there are many reasons, business reasons, if you like, as to why um, leaders now must engage with the issue. Whether it's because the political zeitgeist requires it. Uh, whether it's because of funding requirements or even legislative requirements um, or because no institution wants to be left behind particularly in a global environment where universities are competing with each other to succeed um, so there, there are levers there for leaders to engage with there is of course a moral or an ethical argument uh, but the bottom line is I think the kind of tone of the narrative publicly suggests that uh, it's it, it, it is no, if it ever was it's no longer enough for the agenda just to be treated as an optional extra and so um, ha whatever arguments can be put whatever conversations or narrative can be created around that I think are all ways in which leaders can be encouraged to take this issue seriously.